Welcome to a lesson on the cardinality of a union of two sets. Remember, the cardinality of a set is the number of elements in a set. For any finite sets A and B, the cardinality of A union B is equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of A intersect B, which means the number of elements in A or B equals the number of elements in A plus the number of elements in B minus the number of elements in A and B. We have to subtract the number of elements in A and B once because notice how the elements in this region are counted once when counting the number of elements in set A and then a second time when counting the number of elements in set B. And of course, we only want to count these elements once and therefore we have to subtract the number of elements in A and B once so they're only counted once. And the process of adding in, then taking out, and then adding back in and so on is called the principle of inclusion-exclusion, or simply PIE or PI. Notice in the Venn diagram, sets A and B are not disjoint, meaning there are elements that are in set A and set B. But this formula is still true when we have disjoint sets. However, the cardinality of A intersect B is zero. For example, here we have sets A and B that are disjoint, meaning there are no elements that are in A and B. If we apply the formula, we have the cardinality of A union B equals, again, the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of A intersect B. But notice how the cardinality of A intersect B, or the number of elements in A and B, is zero. And therefore, if we have two disjoint sets, the formula does simplify to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B. Let's look at an example. Let's determine how many elements n in the set of integers from one through 30 is n a multiple of two or three. So to set this up, let's let set A be the set containing multiples of two, set B be the set containing multiples of three, and therefore the set A intersect B is the set containing multiples of two and three, which would be multiples of six, and A union B is a set containing multiples of two or three, so we're looking for the cardinality of A union B. Since the set contains the integers from one through 30, we can determine how many numbers are multiples of two by taking 30 and dividing by two, which is equal to 15, which indicates the cardinality of set A is 15. This should make sense because half of the integers from one through 30 are even, which would give us 15. To determine how many are multiples of three, we can take 30 and divide by three, which is 10. There are 10 elements in the set that are multiples of three, and therefore the cardinality of set B is 10. And finally, to determine how many multiples of six we have, we can take 30 and divide by six, which is equal to five. There are five elements in the set that are multiples of six. And now we have all the information we need the cardinality of A union B, which is equal to the number of elements in the set that are multiples of two or three, equals the cardinality of A, which is 15, plus the cardinality of B, which is 10, and minus the cardinality of A intersect B, which is five. The cardinality of A union B is equal to 20, which indicates there are 20 multiples of two or three in the set of integers from one through 30. To make this even more clear, let's set this up using a Venn diagram. So I've already set this up below, where notice how the intersection of A and B contains the multiples of six from the set of integers from one through 30, which are six, 12, 18, 24, and 30. And then set A contains all the multiples of two. Notice how we already have five multiples of two in the intersection of A and B. So the multiples of two that are not also multiples of three are the elements of two, four, eight, 10, 14, 16, 20, 22, 26, and 28. Notice how we do have 15 elements in set A. And then set B contains all the multiples of three. Five of them are already in the intersection of A and B. The multiples of three that are not also multiples of two are three, nine, 15, 21, and 27. And I did list all the other integers from one through 30 they're not multiples of two or three in the universal set, which are one, five, seven, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 25, and 29. 
So notice how we can verify now the cardinality of set A is 15. The number of elements in set A is 15. We can also verify the cardinality of set B is 10. The number of elements in set B is 10. And we can also verify the cardinality of A intersect B is 5, the number of elements in this set here. But of course, because we have the Venn diagram, we can just highlight A union B, which is this set here, and then just count the number of elements, which we can see is 20, verifying our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.